Now, South Korea views the latest new title given to North Korean leader Kim Jong Un as being the final step in completing Kim's process of establishing his one man rule. His new title, Chairman of State Affairs Commission. Now, this new body replaces the National Defense Commission, becoming the regime's highest branch of government and effectively cementing Kim's position as the highest level of authority. Our Kwon Jang Ho has an analysis of, of what this means for the Kim leadership in the North. Chairman of the Workers' Party of Korea, Chairman of the Central Military Commission, and now Chairman of the State Affairs Commission. North Korea held a parliamentary meeting of its Supreme People's Assembly on Wednesday, where Kim Jong un was given the new title. The young North Korean leader now has nine titles, including Supreme Commander of the Korean People's Army and Marshal of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, along with secondary titles such as the Supreme Guide and the Son of the World. His father and grandfather also held multiple titles, from President to General Secretary of the Workers' Party. Both titles were effectively retired after their deaths. Kim Jong un's new title replaces a previous title for the National Defense Commission, which had emphasis on military matters, but the new body encompasses diplomatic and economic matters as well. This has been interpreted as a push for Kim to have authority over all areas of North Korean governance and further consolidate his power. South Korea's Unification Ministry says that although it represents the completion of Kim's restructuring of power, this move doesn't change much. But not everyone agrees. Previously, the National Defense Commission was run on a military first policy, but there has now been a normalization of the party, and it looks like he's going to lead in a party based system. This can be seen as a significant shift. Kwon Jang-ho, Arirang News.